Hey guys, I'm Nicholas and I want to take this time to welcome all the newcomers to my channel and to also welcome my faithful subscribers who view my content every so often and support me. Before I begin today's video, I want to encourage you newcomers to subscribe to my channel and to like this video. Okay, let's begin. So in today's video, we'll be delving into four important categories. The topic for today, and it goes without saying, is how to renew a Guyanese passport when it's nearing its date of expiration or when it has already expired. More specifically, we will be touching on who can renew a Guyanese passport, where can one renew a Guyanese passport, what are the steps to renewing your passport, and I'll just throw in a few uh, requirements, caveats, and uh, stuff that would assure you that your passport will be uh, renewed. So to start us off, the fact that you're watching this video says that you're probably Guyanese or curious about the Guyanese passport. Well, let me enlighten you a bit. Since Guyana is a part of the Caribbean community, Guyana shares a similar logo and color on its passport like many other Caribbean countries. For example, Barbados, Trinidad, St. Lucia. They have different passports with the same color and the same logo, which reads CC, meaning Caribbean community. You see, while most Caribbean countries are washed by the Caribbean Sea, Guyana, however, is fixed in South America and brings a unique flavor of culture, language, custom, and lifestyle to the world. The point is that if you're going to apply for a renewal of your Guyanese passport, you should definitely be Guyanese. It doesn't matter how, but that's just how it works. So now that you know who can apply for a renewal of the Guyanese passport, you should probably know that the validity of a Guyanese passport is five years. Within those five years, you're safe, and outside of those five years, you're screwed, unless you decide to renew your passport. So let's talk a little bit about location. Currently, you can renew your passport via two routes. If you're in Guyana, you can go to the Central Immigration and Passport Office located on Camp Street. And if you're in a foreign country, please avail yourself of the embassy or consulate there by following the right protocols and sending them your passport so that they can get the necessary work done uh, whilst you wait. Unfortunately, in this video, I won't be focusing on renewing uh, your passport in a foreign country since this process is very different to the process of renewing your passport when you're actually in Guyana. Actually, the steps for renewing your passport are quite simple. I broke them down into four steps so that they'll be uh, even simpler for you. The first step is checking your passport expiry date to see when your passport will expire. This will indicate how much time you have remaining. So when you go to the immigration office, show up with that passport and all other previous passports. The second step is to take a passport size picture at a location that is credible and that doesn't charge you exuberant prices. I mean, who's gonna wanna charge, I mean, who's gonna wanna pay so much money uh, just for uh, about four or six small pictures and then run you up into debt. Okay, we're not in debt, but you know. The third step is to actually complete the application form and to attach the passport size picture from step three to the form. And the last step is to head down to the passport office with old passports in hand and hand in your application that is after having paid the 6,000 Guyana dollars fee for the 32-paged passport or the $10,000 Guyana dollars fee for the 46-paged passport. Let's talk a little bit more about uh, filling out the application form. So what you see displayed on the screen here is the application form for a new passport or for the renewal of an old passport. You can see in this section, it says surname, maiden name, first name, second name, and third name, if any. So I just filled in a random name, John Doe, John Terrence Doe, 
Uh, this guy doesn't exist, but uh, it's to give you a rough idea of what you should do. He's male and his surname is Doe. His first name is John. Uh, yeah, and his second name is Terence. Uh, I didn't put maiden name because he's not a woman. And when he was married, he didn't change his name, you know, maiden, woman. Uh, but yeah, this is basically how you have to fill the top there. So moving down slightly, there's a section uh, marked for official use only. What this basically means is that this section is for the immigration officer or the person or persons reviewing your application. Uh, you are not supposed to write in this section. This section is not for you. I repeat, this section is not for you. Scrolling down, we see uh, a, there's a part of the this application form that says instructions on how to complete this form. So this section is how I actually modeled this video. So you can probably read this section uh, if you don't know how to fill the form. And uh, I, intrinsically, this section will just guide you on how to fill it. So basically, when you're done reading, you can like put your signature here, certifying that this is the true likeness, your true likeness. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So moving down, you can finally begin Form A. Uh, in Form A, you see the passport number and you see uh, another section. But these sections are for official use only. So you should not write in this section. You should just write in the section that says uh, applicant signature because that's you. Uh, and your signature should not exceed the rectangle uh, because I guess that's gonna uh, incur a delay in the processing of your application. I mean, if you just look at the rectangle right there, if you sign on top of the box and it touches the box, I mean, I think the computer is just gonna read it as being, uh, read the box as being part of your signature and that's, yeah, gonna cause problems and uh, I think a delay in the system. Yeah, so looking to your, uh, well, my right, uh, it says photo right here. This is the part uh, where you insert that photo size picture that you took and moving downward, you can finally begin your uh, application. You put your surname right there. So remember, we started the application with the guy named uh, John Terrence Doe. So this is where we're gonna type Doe and where it says first names, uh, this is where we're gonna type uh, John Terrence, okay? Uh, so now let's, uh, let's go on. You see this section that says maiden surname uh, you, John Terrence should not be writing there since he's male and he never changed his name. Uh, his marital status, he's single, uh, he's male, uh, his height, uh, let's say he's about, uh, uh, he's about, mm, yeah, let's, let's give his height in centimeters since they require it in centimeters. And then we have here his eye color, uh, his hair color, and uh, uh, special or peculiar traits. So about his height, let's say that he's 176 centimeters, and let's say his eye color is like the quintessential brown eye person in Guyana. And let's say his hair color is black, and let's say he has no peculiar marks or uh, features on him that would make him easily recognizable, like a scar or I, I don't know what others there are out there. So let's put his, uh, uh, let's put his, uh, well, his name hasn't been changed. Uh, so that's a no, exactly, like I said before. And let's, let's put his age, his age at his last birthday. Let's give him 31. Why am I using this pencil? And let's go for the, his date of birth. I'm gonna put 31, 31, 31, because yeah, you can put the da your date of birth right there, but I'm too lazy to think of a date right now. So yeah, we're just gonna put 30, okay. 31, 30, and uh, yeah, 20. 
Yeah, that works. So how about his country of birth? Of course, uh, we're talking about Guyana, so that's gonna be Guyana. And how about his place of birth? Uh, let's put Sophia and his profession. Mm -hmm. Let's give him a uh, therapist. Yes, therapist. Oh my God, I can't spell therapist. Exactly. So his present address, I'm going to give him for Victoria Moon uh, Drive uh, East Coast Burbies. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Guyana. Exactly. And for his usual place of residence, uh, let's let's say that it's very different from his uh, his present address. It's 21 Brickdam Street, uh, 21 Brickdam Street, uh, Georgetown. Okay. So moving on, uh, let's go for his local telephone number. We're just gonna put in some random numbers there. Uh, and he doesn't have a fax number, uh, but he does have an email address and that is John Doe, John Doe at fantasy.com. There we go. So this is just a random email address, a uh, made up one. Uh, so let's move on to section two, which is citizenship. Uh, state whether citizen is a republic, of, uh, citizenship of the Republic of Guyana. Uh, he is a citizen by birth. And then we move on to uh, the document number to prove identity. Uh, yeah, you can put your ID card number right there and the place of issue, Georgetown. Uh, date of issue, uh, let's put the 12th month of uh, the 11th day, uh, 2017. Okay, yeah, that sounds about believable. Uh, let's move on to section three. Married woman applying for a passport must complete uh, this section. So he's not a woman and he's not married. So this section does not pertain to him at all. Okay. So this section uh, has nothing to do with him. And this section too, it has nothing to do with him since he is a legal resident of Guyana. He hasn't been adopted. He was born here in Guyana and he's been living here for the longest while. So now we move on to another part of form A, which is uh, your declaration to the chief uh, passport officer. Uh, well, it's, it's a guardian. Well, since uh, he's 31 years old, he doesn't need a guardian, so yeah. So now let's move on to the use of uh, the passport. What are you gonna use the passport for? So let's say that he's gonna use the passport for, uh, hmm, for purposes of, oh no, 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 no. This is, oh my God, I can't spell tourism. Uh, so, well, I don't think I should write purpose here, but let's see. Yeah, exactly, purpose is at the bottom. So let's say that uh, the passport is required for traveling to to go to the United States. Uh, yeah, that's specific enough. And what's the purpose of travel? Hmm, let's say for tourism, business, and uh, study. Yep, that basically covers it all. So in this section, you should read it carefully. In section A, it says, uh, I, the undersigned, hereby apply uh, for the issue of a passport. And B, I declare that the information given in this application is correct to the best of my knowledge and belief, and that I have not lost the status of citizenship of the Republic of Guyana, and that I have not previously held or applied for blah, blah, blah. You should fill out that section. And then in the bottom, it has passport number right there, or document number. You can put your ID card number or your passport uh, number, your old passport number. So I would put my passport number there because it makes much more sense. And then at the bottom, you just sign and then you date it to actually show uh, when you actually signed it. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna put 31, 31, 31, because I'm too lazy to think of a date. And yeah, let's continue the other part of the application. So about references, you're not gonna need any references because when you first applied for your passport, you already gave up a reference and I think that covers that. So this section is about lost and found, so you don't have to do that. Uh, and uh, this section is for official use only. So you're in the clear. You are basically done for now. So yeah, you finish on uh, page four. Exactly. So with that, you have come to the end of uh, this most uh, long application. So I hope that this has helped you out and uh, has given you an overview as to how to do uh, the application for the passport. And with that, I'd like to thank you for tuning in and uh, thank you so much and uh, do enjoy the rest of your, uh, the rest of your day and uh, yeah, goodbye.